Is Zoe around? Sorry, no. Have you uh, tried the pub? No. Shall I uh, say you're looking for him? It don't matter, come away. Of course he is. They're all street. You don't know that for sure. I've got to go. No, and say what? Just make it easy. We can't risk Izzy finding out, can we? She's going to kill me. You don't want to make this worse than it already is. That's the minute you're kicking off. I'll deal with Ryan. When? Now. Make sure you get straight back to me, all right? Right, I'll deal with it. Trust me. What were they doing? They must have been at it. Oh, Anna's in the middle of the day. Why do you think he's with her? Anyway, Owen walked in on him, went ballistic. Oh, you would want to die. I had to take Josie to work with me. Oh, yeah. She said she couldn't look after him. Yeah. Yeah, now I know why. Yeah, well, at least you two got to spend some time together, eh? Hey? Yeah, I can start. I love you. Thanks. Flipping it. What have you got in that? It's heavy. It's just something I bought. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah, well, I can't carry that. Go on, I'll get him. Come on, Joseph. Reverse him. Yay! Ryan in? Nope. Oh, right. Well, he said he's going to help get some tickets for a gig. Uh, well, no, he's not. I'll uh, let him know you called. All right, thanks. How dare we? Who does he think he is? A protective dad. I can see Gary doing the same thing one day. No, we're not a pair of kids. I'm a grown woman. I've got a child. Yeah, and he's worried you're going to end up with another. Oh, you both must think I'm completely stupid. I'm just telling you how he sees it. That's all. Finally got his head round you and Ches, and then suddenly you're with somebody else. Actually, I'm starting to agree with him. What are you doing with Ryan? We're both really into each other. He's not a flash in the pan. He's not using me. Well, we all really like Ches. I like Ches. He was the one who broke up with me. Well, we thought you'd work through it. We tried and it didn't work. So I've moved on. He's just going to have to accept it. You are Will. Dad just needs time. No, he needs to apologise. Coming round for tea tonight. Bring Ryan. Just don't tell him Dad's going to be there. What? Dad'll probably thump him or walk out. I'll work on him, trust me. When he sees the two of you together, with clothes on, <laughs> he'll be fine. Mm, what are you making, anyway? Veg curry. Got to be back at work in a minute, actually. Oh, I love your veg curry. It's Dad's favourite, which will put him in a good mood to start with. Come on. Mm. Anyway. You can't just nip in the back for a quickie and leave the shop empty. You idiot, we could have been robbed. Oh, relax. I kept an eye on the place. You were supposed to be fixing this. I come back and all the electricity's off. Oh, it's so fine. Don't rush to help me. No, we won't. I'll leave you in charge for half an hour and the old place goes to pot. Oh, it went to pot a long time ago, mate. He's right, you know. It's only thanks to Rob and Carla's money that you're even open. I know you're getting on a bit, Tracy. But even you could do better than that fool. Oi, don't speak to my girlfriend like that. Oh, thanks, babe. And do you know what? While you're at it, you should start showing me a bit more respect and all. Ah, fruit machines bust and all. The whole thing's shorted, you idiot. Do you know what? I don't have to listen to this. You're doing me heading. Come on. Let's get out of here. Me and Carla do make a good team. Yeah. Like me and Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the factory's really starting to go places now. All down to you, babe. Ah. Oh, us. You find Owen? He wasn't there. Well, that be for the best. Probably needs time to cool down. Hiya. Hiya. Yeah, yeah, come up. Um, Tina, call for you earlier. Didn't she? Hiya. Hi, love. Hiya. He's just making a crew tonight, bit of a family get together. Both been invited. I have had enough of your family for one day, thanks. Oh, come on, let's show my dad we're both serious. Your dad's going. <laughs> I'm definitely not going then. Well, I wasn't going to tell you, but I think it's best that you know so you can get in the mood. You just smart. Ooh, I'm wearing your best t shirt. Mm. It's not my idea of fun sitting at a table with your dad and Gary. What have you got against Gary? Well, the team Chesney, aren't they? Ryan, being offered a chance to move on, kid. And a curry. Being offered a curry. <laughs> okay, I'll come, but I'm, I'm not dressing smart or anything. Deal. I'll see you later. See you later. See you, see you love. So, we finally tracked you down. Oh, uh, would you both like a little privacy? Well, don't go on my account. No, mine. Would you like to, um... Nice headstone. Marble, is it? Granite. 
Those flowers are fresh. Hmm. Sinjin Cropper, born 18th March 1930, died 9th February 2013. Beloved husband to Margaret. Father to Jonathan, Stephen, Isabel. Royston. He wants a turn up for the books. I don't get a mention, and I was his first wife. The Count puts everybody on. Well, I assume he had a say in the wording. Roy, it means you were still in his thoughts, even at the end. Perhaps. Shall we go? No. I want to pay my respects. Well, uh, of course I'd be sorry to lose you, Greg. You're one of my best customers. All right, I'll hold. Greg Kramer's playing hardball. He reckons he's found somebody cheaper. Well, who? I don't know. He won't say. Whatever it is, he's taking a massive loss to steal our customer. Ah, I bet I know who that is. Who? Oh. Oh, sorry. Hi, Peter. Listen, can you up? I'm busy. What's happened now? Oh, here we go. Well, look, I can't do this now. Is it not? He said there's a crisis and he wants me to drop everything and go over. Well, I can talk to Greg for you if you need to go and tie Peter's shoelaces for him. OK, well, good luck with that. Be my guest. Although you'll probably still be on hold by the time I get back, eh? You are a dead man. What? You said you'd go to the shop for me on Tile Street to get special curry ah, powder. Ah, sorry. Well, it don't taste the same without it. Well, I'll go now if you want. It's too late. Made it without. Well, I'm sure it'll still be lovely. It smells great. I love you. Give over. Oh, there's enough of the stuff. Oh, needs to be. Six of us. Six? That's OK. It's bring Ryan. Ryan, are you crazy? What's your dad said? Don't know. He'll go mad. I just thought we'd get them together and see how it goes. Oh, come on, it's going to be really awkward for everyone. Well, thanks for your vote of confidence. I'm going to go and have a shower. Yeah, I'm going to um, go get some beers. Okay. I hope this is important. I left that idiot to fix the coffee machine, right? When I came back, the place was flooded and all the power had gone. Do you know where he is? He's in the back, groping my sister. And you are telling me this because... Because you pay her wages. It's on your time. Well, I'll give her a good talking to. Well, you know, th this is not working, Carla, because he gets right under my skin. I should have never let him through that door in the first place. Well, I was just... I was trying to help. But I don't need any help. Not from him. You know what? I was actually hoping you might spark off each other, two young, fiery go-getters. Look, I just can't put up with it any longer. OK, so... What are we suggesting? Do we want to have clear the air talks or make sure we're both pulling in the same direction? Look, this is serious, right? Because I've tried, I really have. I've put up with him for three long weeks, but come on, enough is enough. OK. So what do you want me to do? I want you to get rid of him. I mean it, Carla. It's either him or me, OK? Have you seen Ryan? He wasn't in. Great. We just calmed down. Look, he's coming around to mine tonight with Katie. What? <sighs> he's just trying to make the peace between him and Owen. So she's invited everyone round. Ryan's going to say something, I know he is. I'll just cool it, will you? But, but he might not have heard anything. Tina, he heard. Lagra, right, right, yeah? Yeah, great. Uh, do you need a hand with the food? All taken care of. It's just us and Katie, then, is it? And Ryan. Ryan? You know, Ryan goes out with your daughter. In that case, I'm not stopping. Sorry, love. Oh, no, come on. Come on, I know it was a bit naughty what he did, but... I mean it. I'm off. Dad, look at me. Look. Now, listen. You are staying. You're going to behave yourself. Understand? Anyway, he won't have the gall to show his face. Just try for my sake, please. I'll be them now. Don't go, Owen. Don't go, please. Let's just stay in. Hiya. Right. Hey, guys. Thanks for inviting us. Hello again. Hey. Do you want to get the courts, Gary? Yeah. Thank you. 
Evening. Don't worry, mate. Yeah. Listen, I'm just, I'm just gonna go nip to the loo. Well, that was good. Yeah, well done, Owen. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a warm welcome. And uh, that was him welcoming you with open arms. Was it? <laughs> yeah, major leap far with that. Oh, Gary, do you want to pass by on the nibbles? <sighs> nibbles? She means a bowl of crisps. And the dip. <laughs> Don't forget the dip. Dip? No, thanks. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you don't want any? Uh, uh no. Uh, thank you. I'm not hungry. Are you annoyed with us? Uh, no. Are you glad we went? Uh, well, it, it, was, it was interesting to see his final resting place. Interesting? Again. Oh, looks great, love. Mm -hmm. It's not long now till the baby's due. Eight weeks. Are you scared? Yeah. I just can't believe we're going to be burnt. Oh, oh, you're yeah. brilliant. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, we bought a cot. Did you? Yeah, it's second number, but it's a good one. Oh. Hmm. Drop some of this. Shouldn't I go and talk to him? Oh, I, I think he just needs a bit of time to himself. It's an old gauge locomotive. N not the double O gauge you tend to see these days. Uh, I see. <laughs> There'll be limited rolling stock available should I wish to add to it. Best off seeing what I can pick up at exhibitions or, or, or on eBay. Hey, I can scratch build a platform. Why didn't Dorothy forward the letter? Everybody forwards mail. There was an old star card bill for Becky the other day. I still sent it on. Well, I'm sure she was grateful for that. It's all so sad. Yeah, I might, I might get the track out. I'm sure this is in working order. Do you know, Summer? Cheers. I loved it when you defended my honour. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think he is talking down to us? Mm. He treats you like a skivvy. Look, I know he's my brother, but he is bang out of order. He should be thanking you. Do you know what? I've bit my tongue for too long. Four? Will you bite mine? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you phoning? Carla. That was really nice, love. There was. Oh, it was hot, mind. Yes, <laughs> mate. Well, there's loads left. Ugh, oh, I'm stuffed. Kitty, right? Oh, no, I'm not fine. I might need a little walk now. Oh, in the direction of a certain bar, by any chance? You've read my mind. Anybody really fancy it? Yeah, I'll come with you. Yeah? Well, I'll just play the plate. Oh, I'll do it. Well, I can manage. I know you can manage, but I want to help. Well, I'll give you hands, yeah? Really? Just uh, stick him on the side, mate. I'll do him later on. Everything all right? Yeah, because I'm I'm picking up on a vibe. Really? Listen, I'm just trying to have a good night. You know, build bridges with Owen. So what's with the funny looks? I think you're paranoid, mate. <sighs> when you came to the yard before, <laughs> what about it? What do you think was going on? So it's none of my business. Because whatever you think you heard, you didn't. All right, you got it wrong. Is that right? I mean, is he a solid? What about you and Tina? <laughs> Do you know what? I knew you got the wrong end of the stick. Me and Tina are mates. Good mates. Listen, mate, I know what I heard. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. All right, and like you say, it's none of your business. So just put it out of your mind. I mean it right. What's going on? I was just messing about. Yeah. He's a young, good-looking lad. Should be out having fun and playing the field. We're going to watch this film or what? Steady just jumps in with both feet. Do you know what? I have never known anybody get so serious so quickly. First Tracy, then Katie. Well, you got to say, Katie's a step in the right direction. What is she, though? She's got a baby. Angry ex-boyfriend and even angrier dad. Trailer's a skip. <sighs> skip. I just don't want to see him throw his life away. Do you want me to intervene? <laughs> Do I want you to intervene? You sound like a mafia boss. I could have a few words in a few years. Owen's obviously anti. No, no, you stay out of it. Promise me. Because when you start taking an interest in people's lives, there's more bloodshed. All right, I get it. Straight well. Yes, well, in future, baby. Never try to help. Okay? 
The ladies' loo in here, for instance, look, little towels and hand wash. No, it wouldn't last five minutes in a pub. Is right, they get nicked. Oh, I just thought with this grand reopening, it gives you a chance to create a different ambience. We like the ambience. Aren't I entitled to an input? I am your main backer. Oh, Glow, you've lent us some money for which we're grateful, but can we not make our own decisions? He's right. Okay. It's all right, I'll get, I'll get the drinks in. Are you sure? It's a big round. I can afford it. Mm -hmm. See? There's no problem that can't be solved with one of my curries. Yeah, but well. You owe me a massive apology. <laughs> well, I think that went well, don't you? Yeah, Dad's still an idiot, but yeah. <laughs> so you couldn't wait to get out of there? No, I couldn't. So what's going on with you and Gary in the kitchen? So what do you reckon to him, then? Nothing. Liar. You've been being funny with him all night. Was I? You know you were. Excuse me, can I get uh, two bottles of lager, a white wine and lemonade, a pint of lager, a medium red wine, and what do you want? A kind of music, please. Checking in with your sister, OK? Of course they are. Why would you say that? <laughs> Ryan. I saw him today. I, I, I got it wrong. Well, what do you mean you saw him? With Tina. So? She was worried what they were talking about. <laughs> right, I'll um, I'll cut to the chase. I'm not happy. I, I, I want big changes, or I walk. I heard you had a run-in today. <laughs> Look, we've had more run-ins than he's had fag breaks. I've had enough. Look, Peter says that you don't do anything that he asks. I'm not there to follow orders. I'm, I'm there to turn the place around. He also says you left the shop empty while you were cuddling up to Tracy, I mean. Carla, Carla, right. When you asked me to work there, the business was on its knees. Thanks to me, the place is smarter. Takings are up, you know. He should be grateful. Peter just finds it hard to accept help. No, he throws it back in my face. It can't go on, Carla. No. I want to share of that business, or I'm out of there. Eh? Hey? Well, it's the only way that he's going to take me seriously. He needs to accept that I am his equal. But, Rob, Peter's been a bookie for a very long time. You need to support me on this. You owe it me. Otherwise, we've got a big problem. Oh, I wondered where you were. I saw this. <sighs> you need to post a full of idiots when you've got a backyard. I bought some weights off a lad at the market. Oh, an outside lab for a jacuzzi. You know you can shift these bin bags any time you like. That'll really help you get fit. Oh. Three months from now, I'll be a different man. Well, I hope not. Girls like Katie, they don't fancy lads like me. They fancy lads like Ryan. She loved you. I just don't want to be treated like a mug. Look, I can't make myself better looking, but I can get fit. Don't change chairs. You're a nice lad. OK, look, it's not working, clearly, and it's my fault, so it's only fair that I put things right. Good. Oh, Rob, look, you're brilliant at what you do. Thanks. You breathe life into that shop, but... Thank you. It was a temporary fix. You know, it was an experiment, and it's... Hello. It's perhaps only just time we moved on. What are you saying? When you don't want to work there, Peter doesn't want you there, so... So you're giving me the elbow? No. <laughs> what magical power has that man got over you? Oh, come on. I'm doing what's best for the business. Look, he is the bookie. Yeah, but I'm your brother, but obviously that means nothing to you. Oh, of course it oh, come does. on, you know that I'm right about this, but you just don't care, do you? You're not taking me seriously either. No, you are just overreacting as normal. Look, this isn't personal. Oh, oh it's very personal. Do you know what? Stuff the bookies, mate. Never wanted to work there in the first place. I'll see you back in here tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to the ladies. Do you want a drink on the way back? Hey, hey, please. Right, wine, Hey, Glow, I'm sorry if we seemed a little bit ungrateful earlier. You know me. I like to have an opinion. Yeah, I know. And I know you mean well. It's, uh, it's me. I'm not sleeping very well. I oh, know. I heard you up in the night. Yeah. It's that pub, you know. It's Stella's life, and I just want everything to be perfect for her. Don't you think I know that? Why do you think I've bailed you both out? 
Yeah, that's the tenth time you've reminded me of that tonight. Oh, I shall keep on reminding you. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, you must be. I don't believe it. What's he been saying? Look at him shifty. Look, will you keep your voice down, Alex? Not what you think. I love Izzy. Please, can we have this conversation somewhere else? Listen, mate, I know what I just want to know. Gary, okay, why would you lie about this? I'll tell you the truth, all right, but not in front of Izzy. She'll know something's wrong. Please. Outside. One minute. Um, you know what? I'm done in. I think I'm going to get off. OK. Thanks for loving me, all, though. Oh, you're welcome. See you later. See ya, see ya. So, what do we all think around? Oh, I don't like him, but it's her choice, isn't it? Listen, I've just got to pop outside as well. Why? I've got to make a call. My signal's bad. Ah, come on, get him in and went. Oh. Yeah, you're not in the bad, are you? Yeah, that's... <laughs> Look. Look, I made a pass at Tina. You slimy... Listen, listen, it was a stupid mistake and totally my fault. I shouldn't have done it. How can you do it? How can you treat her like that? Katie, we all make mistakes, you know that. Tina's carrying our baby and I got too close. Everything got blurred. But you know what? Some good came out of this. Oh, stop making No, it did, it did, because now I know that I want Izzy and I want a family with her. And what about Tina? Well, Tina means nothing, so could you please just wipe this from your memories? For the baby's sake. Do so you want me to lie to my sister? <sighs> yeah. What's going on? Don't speak to me. Get out of my face, Tina. What have you done? Have you told them? Gary. Oh. What about Izzy? Does she know? Not yet. But she will soon. <sighs> so, will Rob swallow his pride and join forces with Carla once more? Mark Bayliss, who plays Rob, talks exclusively about his and Carla's battle for power at itv.com slash Corrie. Later, Violet's got a new man. She's off to Argentina this time. Maybe Freddie and Stuart will get some peace. Don't bank on it and vicious next before the job lot are due for an inspection. Yikes, at 9.30.